In today's video, we will have a quick look at three UK companies that experienced a price drop during the first three months of the year. Those of you who regularly watch this channel know that we are value investors at the investment store and cannot resist hunting for and buying an underpriced asset or security. Today, we'll be looking at the following three stocks, Experian, Fresnillo and London Stock Exchange all three of which are down by more than 10% over the first three months of this year. We'll try to understand the reason why these stocks have dropped in recent months, and we'll use our intrinsic value calculator to determine whether they're worth buying. So join us as we go bargain hunting on today's investment store. Welcome to the investment store, the personal finance channel that reviews a diverse range of investment asset classes from stocks and ETFs, through to real estate and cryptocurrencies. If you enjoy this video, please click the like button and leave a comment. And if you like our content, then please subscribe to the channel to become part of the investment store community and hit the notification bell to ensure that you never miss an episode. With that said, let's commence with today's video. For this video, we have decided to focus on FTSE 100 blue chip companies that have experienced a recent drop in their share price. Now, these are all solid businesses. So in this video, we won't be completing the full four step stock analysis approach. Instead, we'll concentrate on a few factors that have led to the reduction in share price and on whether the stock is currently trading below its intrinsic value or at a bargain price. The first company that we'll be analyzing is Experian. Experian is a multinational consumer credit reporting company that collects and aggregates information on over 1 billion people worldwide. This includes 235 million individual US consumers and more than 25 million US businesses. The company currently controls approximately 40% of the consumer credit reporting market. The business has managed to maintain a net margin above 15% since 2014, However, it does have a negative price to book ratio on account of its high intangible asset value. Experian shares have taken a nosedive since the company reported its financial results for 2020. Investors were discouraged by the firm's drop in revenue growth in certain regions such as UK and Ireland and Europe, Middle East and Africa and Asia Pacific regions. The business has experienced growth in North America, which is its biggest market. This has led to a number of analysts to question whether the recent correction is an overreaction, so the long-term prospects still look good for this company. When we look at Experian's fundamentals, we can see that its operating and net margins have been dropping since 2017. This also reflects a slight decrease in their earnings per share. Experian had two strong years in 2017 and 2018, where it managed to achieve a return on asset and Rocky near and above 10 and 15% respectively, which is our preferred investment threshold. Now let's have a quick look at the intrinsic value of Experian and compare this against its current share price. Experian's average free cash flow over the past five years is 770 million. Its average 10 year annual growth rate is 7% and it currently has 910 million shares outstanding. To calculate the intrinsic value of the stock, we will head over to the intrinsic value calculator on the investment store website. A link to our calculator is provided in the description below. So we'll simply enter the numbers that we've just summarized into the calculator. When using the calculator, it is important to ensure that you use the right units. Please enter the average free cash flow in millions. If you hover over the information icon, you'll see that 1,000 equals 1 billion of any currency type. So 770 million pounds is simply entered in as 770. For annual growth rate, simply enter the percentage as a whole number. Next, for the required rate of return, this really depends on your preference. We generally use a rate of return of 10%. However, you can go lower or higher as you wish. The lower you go, the higher the intrinsic value of the business will be. For the perpetual growth rate, this value is typically less than 5%. We use a value of 3%, which we would recommend you use too. Finally, for shares outstanding, simply enter the number in millions again. 
Putting all these numbers in, this gives us an intrinsic value per share for Experian of £16.63, which is significantly below their current share price of £25. Now, if you apply the more generous growth rate of 10%, this takes the intrinsic value up to £21, still short of the current share price. A 10% annual growth rate is not supported by Experian's numbers over the last five years, so the stock looks overpriced in our opinion. Our next company is Fresnilo. Fresnilo is an Anglo-American precious metals mining company incorporated in the UK and headquartered in Mexico City. Fresnilo is the world's largest producer of silver and Mexico's second largest gold miner. The company operates three gold and silver mines in Mexico and its share price and performance is closely linked to the commodity price of gold and silver. Fresnilo's recent share price drop is linked to the release of its 2020 full year results where it reported a reduction in silver production due to the impact of the global pandemic. The price of silver has also reduced by 16% since peaking in late January. The company has also forecasted a reduction in future oil production. Now let's take a quick look at Fresnilo's fundamentals. As you can see from this chart, Fresnilo's share price has been quite volatile over the past five years. This is reflected in their financial figures during the period. Net margin has been as high as 27% and as low as 5% and this is typical of companies whose business is correlated with raw materials. Its other numbers such as its net margin, Rocky and ROA all tell a similar story. These numbers suggest to us that the best time to buy a stock like Fresnilo is when the precious metal market is in significant decline and that way it will be trading at a discount. Now let's look at the intrinsic value of Fresnilo and compare this against its current share price. Fresnilo's average free cash flow over the past five years is £114 million. Its average 10-year annual growth rate is 21% and it currently has 737 million shares outstanding. So again, let's head over to the Investment Store website and enter these numbers into our calculator. And when we do this, we get an intrinsic value per share of £9.21, pence, which is close to its current share price of £8.94. Pence. Now, if we wanted to be a bit more conservative, we would apply a growth rate of 12%. And this gives us an intrinsic value of £4.49. Pence. Now, this value would personally be the growth rate that we would be most comfortable in applying here. So again, this stock looks currently overvalued in our opinion, particularly in consideration of the recent drop in precious metal prices. The final company that we will be looking at today is London Stock Exchange Group or LSEG. LSEG is the owner of the London Stock Exchange. Since 2000, the company has been acquiring other stock exchanges, including Italy's Borsa Italia, although they are currently in the process of selling Borsa Italia to Euronext for 4.3 billion euros. In March, LSEG reported their 2020 annual results, which reported a 6% increase in earnings and a final dividend of 7%. Despite this, the company's share price has reduced by 15% over the past three months. This may have reduced for the following reasons. Since Brexit, most investors are uncertain of whether the London Stock Exchange will remain as a global hub for financial trading. A number of companies that were aiming to float on the London Stock Exchange have chosen to list overseas. The company has also announced that it will be increasing its capital expenditure this year by £1 billion in order to support the transition of its £27 billion acquisition of Refinitiv. Refinitiv is an IT and data analytics company that made an annual turnover of $6 billion in 2020. Information services make up most of LSEG's revenue, so Refinitiv's acquisition is clearly strategic and could turn out to be a great move for the company, although time will ultimately tell whether this is the case. Now let's take a look at some of LSEG's numbers. As can be expected from a business with a monopoly, the business has a high operating margin and net margin. Interestingly, their earnings per share has been decreasing since 2017, despite the share price increasing rapidly. For illustration, the company's share price in 2017 was just below £40 per share. Today's share price is almost double this, despite the earnings per share being 30% lower. 
As a financial business, ROA and Rocky don't reveal a great deal, so we pay close attention to the price-to-book ratio instead. This value is negative, which indicates that LSEG has a negative book value. If we were planning to buy this stock, we'd be doing some further research here to understand more about LSEG's liabilities. Let's look at the intrinsic value of LSEG. Its average free cash flow over the past five years is £597 million, with a 10-year annual growth rate of 24%, and they currently have 354 million shares outstanding. This gives us an intrinsic value of £127 per share, which is above the current share price of £72. If we were to use a more conservative growth rate of 15%, we get an intrinsic value of £62. Again, this value would be the growth rate that we'd be more comfortable applying when analysing this business. So on the surface, this stock also looks slightly overvalued. However, it's important to note that the refinitive acquisition could prove to be a very successful one for the company, and at that price, £72 per share would be relatively cheap. So to conclude, all three stocks are currently priced above their intrinsic value in our opinion. Now this entirely depends on the predicted growth rate that you wish to apply to the stock when completing the intrinsic value calculation. For example, if we were to stick to each company's actual 10-year annual growth rate, then both Fresnilo and LSEG are currently undervalued. Between the three stocks, LSEG is the one that we'll be paying close attention to, as we believe that the refinitive acquisition is likely to drive the share price higher over time. If it achieves good growth this year, then we could potentially see its share price go beyond the £100 per share mark. So we'll be paying close attention to this stock. Thanks for watching. If you enjoyed this video, please leave a like and let us know what you think of our findings. If you'd like to learn more about how we analyse assets, please subscribe to the channel and visit our website. We look forward to seeing you on the next video.